Hello. Welcome to Asia Week New York September 2021 virtual highlights presentation. I'm Dessa Goddard, Chairman of Asia Week New York, an association of prominent international Asian art galleries, major auction houses, numerous museums, and Asian art cultural institutions who collaborate to celebrate Asian art with its audience of collectors, institutions, and academics. This September, we have 23 members in six auction houses who are showing a representation of their offerings on our newly expanded virtual platform through October 1st. The following video presentation shows just a taste of September highlights from our members. We have incorporated these selections with a short journey through the dynamic history and growth of Asia Week New York from its inception in 2009 to the present narrated by members of our planning committee. Asia Week New York came a long way since its inception in 2009 due to the sudden end of the Asian Art Fair, a popular destination for collectors, scholars, and curators. The closure mobilized Joan Mervis and Ji Young Ku to quickly assemble a small group of 16 of the fair's eager participants to hold simultaneous gallery shows in March under the name of Asian Art Dealers of Upper East Side New York. It didn't take long for more dealers to jump on the bandwagon. By March 2010, 31 dealers had joined, together with four auction houses, and the first reception was held at the Rubin Museum of Art. In 2011, we shed the rather cumbersome acronym ADUNI and adopted the much more memorable moniker we use today, Asia Week New York. At that point, one third of the participating dealers came from abroad, demonstrating that its reach went well beyond the Upper East Side. Dealers were joined by five auction houses and 17 New York area museums and cultural institutions. 
Asia Week New York published an illustrated guide to help attendees find their way to all the gallery shows, museum exhibitions, and related cultural events on offer around the city. The week's events launched that year with a reception at Asia Society, with subsequent receptions held at the Morgan Library in 2012 and at the Guggenheim Museum in 2013. By then, there were over 40 dealers actively participating. Two thousand and fourteen was the first year that Asia Week New York co-hosted the invitation-only reception with the Asian Department of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. By then, Asia Week New York was attracting international attention from such important people as Ban Ki Moon, the Secretary General of the United Nations, who spoke at that reception. The annual reception quickly became the most sought-after invitation for Asian art collectors and curators with over 600 guests. Over the years, Asia Week New York has benefited from the support of several sponsors with ties to Asia. They have included Aman, the international group of 31 hotels and resorts all over the world, which started in Asia in 2014, 2015, and again in 2018. The 2020 and 2021 sponsor, Songstam Hotels, Resorts and Tours, an award-winning luxury boutique hotel group with 13 Tibetan-style retreats in the Chinese provinces of Tibet and Yunnan, provides the visitor with a unique and immersive experience of Tibetan culture. Because of our constituency of Asian art enthusiasts, they all found synergy with the high demographic of our constituents. Mark the Amman Group sponsorship in 2018, 
Asia Week New York organized a reception at the home of acclaimed interior designer, Sandra Nunnerly. The event brought in a new audience of prominent interior designers and their exclusive clientele, many of whom are knowledgeable and discerning collectors themselves. With the growth of Asia Week New York's reputation and popularity, museums and their collector groups have made it a must-attend destination. So dedicated were they that groups even came in 2020 when the pandemic suddenly hit. This event has provided an opportunity for museums and collectors to find pieces to enhance their collections and underscores the importance of Asian art as a component of museum collections. The De La Rosta, which was over 40 for many years, has evolved based on market trends, politics and current events. Asia Week New York has received significant attention from international media outlets, especially several Chinese news outlets, particularly on the occasion of our 10th anniversary in 2019. Two thousand and nineteen was a milestone year for Asia Week New York. Looking back on ten years of growth, they honored ten important individuals who had played an important role in the development of the field of Asian art. To celebrate the tenth anniversary, Asia Week New York held a private special reception at the Metropolitan Museum before the main reception, where the honorees were presented with commemorative gifts.
This distinguished group was composed of a who's who of notable collectors, including Diane and Arthur Abbey, Dr. Julia and John Curtis, Lily and Ned Johnson III, and Donald and Shelley Rubin. From the museum field were Maxwell K. Mike Hearn, Douglas Dillon, Chairman of the Department of Asian Art at the Met, So Young Lee, Landon and Lavinia Clay, Chief Curator of the Harvard Art Museums, Stephen Little, Florence and Harry, Harry Sloan, Curator of Chinese Art, Head, Chinese, Korean, and South and Southeast Asian Departments, Los Angeles County Museum of Art, and Amy Poster, an independent curator of Asian art and consultant specializing in museum strategic planning. Leading dealers James J. Lally and Joan B. Mervis rounded out the list. Asia Week New York 2020 took place despite the pandemic striking New York shortly after it began. The reception was cancelled, some overseas and out-of-town dealers did not participate, but the majority did make it to New York. So did a surprising number of dedicated collectors and curators. The exhibitions closed early. Thereafter, strategies were quickly developed in response to the situation. Summer Redux in 2020 was the first online exhibition held on Asia Week New York's website, followed by Autumn 2020. That July, Asia Week New York launched the first of a continuing series of Zoom webinars about an array of Asian art topics. These popular webinars attract an audience of several hundred people.
Today, with its enhanced website, regular webinars on topics of interest, a weekly newsletter, and an active social media program, Asia Week New York has expanded its role from a single focus on March Asia Week activities to become a year-round vital international resource and platform for Asian art in the United States. We invite you to view our summer online virtual exhibition of members, keeping in mind that what you see is just a sample of what they have to offer. Do not hesitate to contact them directly and visit them either virtually or in person. And to register for our newsletter for updates on our upcoming webinars and events. We all look forward to seeing you in New York. Thank you.